Do you have an intro? I say, what's up, brother? What's going on? <laughs> That's what I say. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I say, what's up, brother? I come, I'll say, uh, do you want me to say it? Yeah. Alright. Hey, what's going on, brother? Thank you. Ah, for it. <laughs> what? Get out. Alright, listen. Let's go. So. We are here at the Roostron Performance Center. I'm at my gym. Obviously, we have Coach Summers with us. Uh, this is gonna be for both of our channels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some rotational power movements. I'm gonna do something with the landmine, do a couple of exercises, and then he's gonna go ahead and take you on over to the turf. And we're gonna be doing some med ball variations too to enhance rotational power for sports like baseball. And for me, obviously I work with combat sport athletes, so we're merging the two here collaborating for you guys so hope you enjoy it all right guys so check it out we're gonna go ahead and get on the landmine here if you guys follow me on instagram or have my youtube channel i do a lot of landmine variations so what summers is gonna do here he's gonna do a coil to press and what we're gonna be going through is that spiral line where i want to see him coil through or get more lateral flexion so he's gonna get compression and, and, and expansion here and as he goes to press, he's gonna step forward and then rotate his body. So he's rotating here, closing that angle down. He's gonna get internal rotation in the backside leg. As he steps forward, internally rotating the hip, boom, and driving up, pressing at that 45 degree angle. Right there, lat on, lat on, yep. good. Now step and press. Good, let's do it again. When you go to, when you go to step two, as this comes forward, like let's say for here, as this comes forward, we want to turn. So I'm closing that hip down, right? So I want a little bit of internal rotation on the backside leg. And when you go to press, there you go. Now hit. Good. Good. Yeah. Stabilize your body. Got it again. Good. Let's do it again. Be explosive now. Hit. There you go, balance. Not bad, you know? Pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna start from this side. And as you go to press, right, or as you go to roll, so we're gonna get into this angle, we're gonna rotate through, right? Low group knee. I'm gonna pull, almost like I'm doing like a uh, high pull, right? Yeah. So I high pull into that coil. Yeah. So I'm high pulling, boom, into the coil. Oh, shit, alright. There you go, that's a good one. Good. I'm here. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Isolate, right? Because we want to globalize it in a sense, right. right? So as you're moving through motions, especially like for me with combat sport athletes, they need to have flow, yeah. right? And, and, and you can never be stuck in the mud. Right. So like they have to be able to have control, but they also have to be powerful. But power has to be controlled by that. So again, it doesn't mean anything. If a guy has knockout power, but he can't control that power, it's, it doesn't mean anything, right? right. So right. I want to be able to hone, hone in on that. And you can break it down. You know, first and foremost, we can go from a static to dynamic, like you're gonna do with the med balls. Yeah. But then after that, we need to be reactive, right? right? right, right Especially right. for a sport like mixed martial arts, boxing, the guys have to have the ability to redirect force, have that stretch reflex, and also be able to flow through movements in multiple planes of motion. Multiple planes of motion, yeah, and in the next move, yeah. Yep. Now, if I were to work with a baseball player, I would probably simplify that a little bit more. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then I would work on the planes of motion that are going to be conducive to that individual. Yeah. Right? Um, again, anything in the transverse plane, we walk in the transverse plane. Right? We have reciprocation, we have that gait locomotion that we want to work on to enhance the ability to create torque and rotational power. So if I can get them to do that just from a standard approach, from a general perspective, it's going to enhance the specific qualities. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Oh, it's going to be a control. You can start here. So we start squared up. Toes pointed slightly in and internal rotation. Arms locked out. This elbow can be tucked. This arm is going to be locked out. We're going to use this to rotate over. So we're activating. We activate, boom. Then from there, 
you're gonna step back in court. So you're here, rotate, you step back, boom, pull it down. Okay. So we're here, all right? And again. Boom, right? Okay. And then from there, you can add on to it. Whether you wanna come from here, right? Whether you wanna go back, right? You always switch it up. But for here, let's just go see, right? Control, pull, right? Control, pull, right? We're in that eccentric row. Toes in, balls your feet a little bit on the outside, right? Fourth and fifth metal torso, more pressure, right? More pressure, pull, boom, and then step. Now stepping. Yep, stepping back. Good. I want to hear that. I want you to pull it down as fast as you can and absorb that force. Right? All the way around. Pull. There you go. Good. Not bad, baseball. All right. So, give me some feedback. What do you feel about it? I mean, I love it. It's deceleration. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Baseball. You have your gas leg and you have your brace leg. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of people. They're very good at producing lateral force, mm -hmm. but they're not so good at stopping that lateral force. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a throwing motion, in the hitting motion, mm -hmm. no matter how far out you get laterally, if you don't slam on this front leg, mm -hmm. the energy is just gonna dissipate yeah. into the ground. Yeah. Just like a car slamming a wall. Yeah. What are airbags for? Mm -hmm. They're to stop the passenger slamming through the window. Mm -hmm. Same thing that happens when you produce energy, now you're not able to decelerate it stops all that big powerful momentum going into it. It's a regression almost, right? Yeah. Because you want to start with this first. You want to be able to absorb that force and then we can redirect it. So yes, this can be a baseline movement. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Or we can go from a static. And we can work even like triphasic, right? You yeah, can, yeah, yeah. You can work in eccentrics. You're not going to go slow eccentrics. It's going to be obviously an overspeed eccentric. Yes. Or like a, you would say a, a, a yielding eccentric. Right, and then from there you can play with it. So now I can put accommodated resistance on the top of this thing. Mm -hmm. Right, I can go ahead and I can use like throwing patterns for ballistics. Yeah, all that stuff. So landmine for me is an essential piece of equipment for any gym, for any home gym, whatever. Yeah. But it's also really good when you're trying to increase functional. When I mean functional for the sport, yeah. rotational power. Yeah, right? it's that bridge the sport. Yep. You know, exactly. that a, lot of, a lot of programs miss. Perfect. So, Perfect. Yeah. All right, let's go get these medballs. Let's do it. All right, so first one, I like to go out of constraint, okay? I like to put, take the uh, lower body out of it, kneeling. Now we're gonna go against the kneeling side into a coil, into an inward turn. We're gonna go slow, and it's gonna be off my command. It's gonna be the throw. So I'm gonna say set, Phil's gonna coil, set, go, off my command. He's gonna keep loading as I say, before I say go. So when I say set, he's gonna keep loading, keep loading, keep loading, keep loading, keep loading, and then off my go is when he's gonna go. A couple more. Set. Go. Ooh. Turn, turn, turn. Set. Go. Ooh. Where a lot of people go wrong here is they wanna go straight back with it. That's not coiling, that's not the inward turn. If we're looking from above, it almost is like a corkscrew. So instead of pushing back this direction, it's a turn, an inward turn. Next one, we're going no constraint. Now he's going to be standing, and it's just going to be off him. He's using stretch, short, stretch, stretch reflex here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Rotate. Now, yeah, it's on you. There it is. Ooh. Now we're here. Pop it back quick. Okay. So now we're going more reactive, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're going straight from the side, okay? We're not gonna be in that constraint position. Yeah. We're gonna be facing the side and we're gonna create that position. Okay. For most. So now it's just a shot put back into it. Starting to piece it all together. Work quick back. Cool. Yes, sir. Pop that hip. So hip leads, right? Yeah, hip leads, coil, this back left glute. Mm -hmm. Picture the second baseman here since you're lefty. Mm -hmm. Alright, try to show the second baseman 
that back left glue here. Mm. There it is. Oh. Yeah, so with these med ball throws here, what I'm saying is to load your back glute rather than loading the hip. You know, a lot of guys teach loading the hip. If yeah. you load the back, your back glute towards almost since I'm right handed. So I'm trying to force this back glute towards the second baseman. It's basically uh, just a natural move. So from here, I can just pick my foot up. Now it's going to bring me into rotation. It's like I'm corkscrewing into yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I'm just if I'm just loading dominantly into this hip right here, I have nothing. You know, I'm leaning forward. So that's why I'm corkscrewed into this back hip. Okay. Yeah. So you, you're, you're basically essentially winding it up to unwind as fast as possible. Right? Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. What should my clothes up be right now? I don't know, man. See, I always punch the camera. You, you know always punch the camera. I'm not gonna punch the camera. Right you can do that. That's actually that Is actually that will sick? work. Yeah, that actually will work. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Thank you, Coach Summers. Summers Method. I mean, he did it, but it wasn't on time. We'll try to be like, you gotta be like, all right, guys, catch y'all later, and then boom, and then hit it. So he's gonna close it out with the new closeout. See, usually I punch the camera. If you ever watch any of my videos, you guys know, say peace, punch the camera. But since he's a baseball guy, he's gonna close it out a little bit different. I'm gonna give you a little homer. All right, guys, hey. <laughs> hey, catch y'all next time, brother.